Okay, so we're playing Democracy 3 Africa. And, um, yo, Debbie, should we do a new game or we should um, load my old one? Yo, let's just start a new game, man, for everyone. Okay. Let them see. I'm okay. too excited about this Democracy 3 game. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um, no, I know Mauritius. The green, white, green, baby. Nigeria. So apparently, when you pick a country, there's always like there's a little. What I call it a uh, almost like a wiki. Over right here, you see like some facts about the country's history, and then here you see like the um oh underweight thirty one percent really. Children wow, one out of five. I just, if I know he, if I'm the rate is high, um, life expense 52 years, makes sense. Literacy, 60% more. So, so it's, it's where people are literate, really? Well, I guess so. You know, in Nigeria, we make a big deal out of going to school. Even though, yeah, they, man. yeah, they probably go to school and not learn much, but that's a different topic. And everybody speaks, speaks a form of English, so... Yeah. You know, that's another interesting topic. If Pigeon... People that can speak only Pigeon, we say they can speak English. Because they can, well, at the very least, communicate with someone who speaks English. Well, to, our, to, to the viewers, Pigeon is like... It's a form of English, but it's broken down. It's like broken English mixed with local slang, local languages and slang. Like combination of all three things, so this it's like raw English, but kind of broken down into tribal like languages and slang. You know, like Pidgin is not even just unique to Nigeria. You know, because I have like Cameroonian and Ghanaian friends who speak Pidgin also, but also when they throw in their own slangs and everything, sometimes I really cannot pick up what they're talking about. <laughs> Yo, let me check this out. I just noticed you can name your own political party. Like there's a That's list, funny. there's a list of names here, but you can actually give your own name. Let's call it Kugali Party. Yeah, done. And the opposition party's name: the All People's Party, the Action Congress, the Spiritual. But they actually Democratic put party. the the real political parties in Nigeria. No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. No. Spiritual Democratic Party. <laughs> I'm sure that Jazz will love that one. So we should put that as the opposition party name. Yeah, yeah, spiritual Democrat. term length four years. Yeah. Term limit um two terms, I guess. Hurricanes, yeah. earthquakes. No, the only thing we have is Nepal. I wish Nepal was an option here as a natural disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Hurricanes, what's compulsory voting? Monarchy. Which one is monarchy? Okay, so basically we'll um Monarchy means people will inherit leadership, so you become the leader because your father was the leader or something. Like in um No, I, let's not have that. Yeah, so compulsory because, because because right now in, in, in Nigeria, um Yes, there's there are monarchies, but there's no They are they are almost they are more of social than political nowadays. Yes, yes, they don't have political power, it's more social power. That's the best way you can put it. So and most of them, it's not even like a father, like you inherit it from your father. It's kind of long and complicated. For our, for our viewers, there are like three major parties, like I said three major parties, there are three major tribes, and within those tribes, they have their own form of monarchy. But I don't think any of the tribes, based on my knowledge, I don't know it all, I don't think if the king dies, his son will become king. I think it's like, there's like a process in picking the next king. But not just anyone, you have to kind of be royalty also. But they pick within the royal houses to determine the next king. Yeah, so let's play with these settings. Alright, let's do it, man. Spiritual Democratic Party. That's so fun. Bribing international media models. Calibrating corruption, really? Wow. <laughs> Complicating the tax code, lining up retirement. <laughs> so, one, welcome to your new job as the president. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so our GDP is pretty much zero. Our health 
pretty much zero. Education, pretty much zero. Look at unemployment and poverty. Crap. No crime. You know, do you know what I find as interesting is that there's such high unemployment, such high poverty, but crime isn't that high. Crime is like lukewarm. Yeah. <laughs> Which is actually kind of true of Nigeria. No, I, I no, 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 no. That's true for Lagos. I ah. think <laughs> it's very hard to like because for our viewers, um, Tolu and myself were born and raised in Lagos. So I think looking at Lagos, it's very hard for us to just say the Lagos experiment is a true test of what Nigeria is. But yeah, in Lagos, crime isn't like as rampant as before. Remember in the night, you know when we were kids, man, you couldn't go out. Yeah. My mom would not let me go out. Like, no, 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 no. Just stay at home. Alright, let's let's start, man. Let's right, be, so does this game allow does this game allow allow us to be a dictator? I just want to know. Begin term of office. I guess so. Oh um, right. Alright, so Tolu, explain what we're seeing next. So we've just started a new file and well, all these little circles represent different things. But first of all, let's look at the people we are serving. Here you see patriots and state employees and environmentalists and women and religious people and ethnic minorities and so on and so forth. Um, what counts as an ethnic minority in Nigeria? Well, any tribe that is one of the major three, min- um, the major three tribes. So the three major tribes are the Yoruba, which Tolo and I are, the Hausas and the Igbos. Um, they, those are the three major tribes. So any other tribe that isn't is a minority, I guess. Yeah. Although, we, so everything, every, so can you explain like the whole idea of how um, each thing affects other things? Yeah. So um, we have these white circles over here. And you have the blue ones and the red and so anything with the white circle is something that you have direct control over you can implement a policy to change it um, so for example this is border controls and right now our border controls at this level which means there will be biometric checks at the border for people who want to come in we can change it to maybe having armed guards at the border or retina scans and you see how it affects each of the okay liberals do not like that immigrate people who want to well immigration people do not like that ethnic minorities do not like that patriots tourism exactly and you can click on each of these you can click on each of these to see more details of what they mean so now something like tourism has a blue circle not white so you can't directly affect tourism you can only affect border controls which will indirectly affect tourism so just to see it from here if i put my mouse on border controls you see the red arrow going out to tourism you see the red arrow going to ethnic minorities you see it going to immigration it just tells you everything it affects. Oh, so policies you make affect the things like tourism, immigration, more in an indirect manner. Exactly. So, um, this green one is <laughs> oil wealth. I haven't really figured out what green does, um, what green means, but I can't affect it directly. But you can see the things it affects. And it's really cool how they managed to fit so much information onto this small space. They just, they just segmented everything. So this whole place, you see its economy, you see it written in the background. And then here, um, tax related. So this is revenue administration, and this is a tobacco tax. We should put, what do you think, should we put a tax on? <laughs> no, <laughs> you want me to get mad? <laughs> We should, put, we should put a tax on uh, tobacco smoke. Yeah, like that. So, tobacco I don't even know why we smoke in Nigeria. Nigeria is incredibly hot. <laughs> I don't get to put hey, it. talking. <laughs> <laughs> look. Hey, look. Poverty reduces a bit. 
you see the green. I guess that means pulsing. If we could, if we take tobacco tax all the way up, I'm not quite sure. I have a question. Me. What tribe do you think our minister is Zion? He sounds evil. Yes, I, I do want to be the one to say it's Zion. That's so funny. Why is it funny? You know, just give me your child, Zion. I just think that's amusing. <laughs> okay, yeah. So basically, hey, this won't even cost us anything. Like, whenever you implement it, it cost you, you see the cost here, and you mm -hmm. see how much income you might make from implementing a policy. And if we put mm -hmm. a tax on tobacco, it won't cost us anything, but it will make us 90 billion per quarter. So, hell yeah. I don't think you should. Okay, so we increase tax so people aren't smoking mm -hmm. anymore. Where okay, is let's. Place where I view my ministers. Financial data, opinion polls, security briefing. Yeah, cabinet ministers. You can see all your ministers and you can even change, like you can fire one of them and you see. You can even view like people who want to be ministers. So you see all these dudes here. They, um, I just click potential ministers. And all these dudes, I can click on one of them and employ him. Wait, wait, let's, let's look at, let's look at it. Bakari. Yoruba, Kelly, Bashir. I don't know what tribe you are, Kelly. Huh. Bashir. He sounds Bashir. Hausa. Probably Hausa or something. Tijani, Hausa, Do, Yoruba, Additional, Yoruba, Okili. Wait, wait, wait. Okoli, that Okoli, is, that's it. Okoli, I said Okili. Okoli. Mm. I don't know, it could be Igbo, it could be. Another like minor tribe, yeah, maybe Delta or something. That's um, good. I, wait, I, I, I know, I know a guy. I know a guy in real life. Um, Remigius mm -hmm. Okoli. Remigius Okoli. What does Remigius sounds like? What tribe? I never no idea. Okay. Yeah, that's dope, man. And you can also see their loyalty. When their loyalty gets too low, what happens? Well, I guess. Um, that's a good question. I guess if their loyalty gets too low, they'll probably um, embezzle some of your funds as opposed to implementing your policies. I'm not quite sure. But I know like their mm. effectiveness in implementing your policy is determined by three things. The, their experience, their loyalty, and their sympathies. So each of them already has something that they particularly care about. So if you hire them into something they don't really care about, they may not be as effective. Oh. Even though, let's see. So, um, hmm, I dare you. I've never. I don't think there's anyone whose name will be that. That's not possible. Agbo is not like a Yoruba last name. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are messing up with the names right now. <laughs> Uche Sule. Nah, <laughs> this, I don't this, know this, about this that guy, name. Also. This guy is Igbo and... Wow. Mm. He's Muslim Igbo. Is that even possible? I have never, yes, I have never met a Muslim man who was Igbo up to be Igbo. And I think I've met a lot of people. I've never met people. And that's not even possible. Based off on the last name, like, it's not possible. Unless he changed his last name. When yeah. he converted. Yeah. So, but he would have to use his first name Uche anymore with some small things. We have to help our country. Let's let's try and increase education. So to keep things fairly short, we are going to end this video right here and we'll continue playing in another video where you'll get to see us implement policies and see more about how this game plays. So leave us a comment, let us know what you think about the game and which other African video games you'd like to see us play. We have more gameplay videos on our YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.